53-20, Nebraska with the lead. Redden steps into it, and this is a deep, deep end-over-end kick, and it sails out of the end zone in the air. One of Redden's better kickoffs in a while. And there's no wind today. We should mention that. Sun-baked Boone Pickens Stadium with game-time temperatures right around 74 degrees. Nebraska will start first and 10 from its own 20-yard line, leading 23-20 to over Oklahoma State. Well, Dave, let's see the adjustments the Cowboys make defensively to try to slow down this rushing attack by Nebraska. Taylor has been 9 out of 10, but a lot of that's because they've been able to run it so well. Andre Sexton was injured late in the first half. He's back out into the game for the Cowboys at strong safety. On first and 10, it's a handoff to Jackson. Runs into a pile on the right side. Now reverses his field with room to run to the 25 to the 30. 35 on the left sideline, and he's punched down from behind all the way up at the Nebraska 38. A gain of 18. The hole on the right side was clogged. He pivoted, reversed his field, and took it for 18 yards and a Nebraska first down. Roderick Johnson got a hand on Jackson before he turned, but he was trying to fight off a block, too. There was no room. It's just a great individual effort that time by Brandon Jackson. And Jackson's having a heck of a game. 14 carries for 142 yards, a career best for him, the junior. In a one-back set, Taylor under center on first down. Taylor, quick throw near side, and the pass is incomplete. It was caught off the bounce by Maurice Purify at the 45-yard line of Nebraska. Incomplete pass, second and 10 coming up. Well, it's a key for the Cowboy defense, obviously, to get another stop. They've done it once, and it turned into some really good things for OSU. But if you get a stop here and give it back to the offense, you haven't had the lead yet today. If you can get in the lead, then that also could change the dynamic of this game. Second and 10, Nebraska from its own 38. Taylor under center. One back set with Brandon Jackson, who's been hot today. Taylor hands it off to Jackson. Running off right tackle. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and dropped for no gain. Victor to great. The defensive end for Oklahoma State was the first man there. Now you have Nebraska where you want them. Third and 10 for the Huskers from their own 38-yard line. Great job by the defensive line there. Ryan McBean kind of just turned around, and, and there he was. And DeGrate comes in to make the play. Larry Brown was also there to help on the stop. Boone Pickens Stadium crowd on its feet. Nebraska third and 10 from its own 38. Huskers are two out of five on third downs. The last third and long resulted in a sack of Zach Taylor. He's in a shotgun, gets a snap, blitz is coming. Taylor scrambling, flush from the pocket. Now he'll run it straight ahead, has a first down to the midfield and tackled from behind at the 47-yard line of Oklahoma State. That's a 15-yard run for Zach Taylor who had negative 37 yards on the ground coming into this game. That's 15 yards and a Nebraska first down. And he's bracing for the sack. He, he didn't even really give a pump fake, and Roderick Johnson jumped in the air. I think it was either Johnson or it was Levine. It was Patrick Levine that thought he was about to throw and wasn't going to be able to wrap him up, so he jumped in the air, and that gave Taylor a little bit of time to run. Well, that's a non-running quarterback making a heads-up play. Nebraska first to 10 from the Cowboy 47. Huskers up 23-20 early in the third as Taylor gets a shotgun snap. Throws quickly near side. Leaping catch made out of bounds. Maurice Purify made the grab. Stayed in bounds at the Cowboy 33. Good play there by the 6-4 wide receiver. It covers 14 yards and a Nebraska first down. Well, you can throw it to where he can only get it if he's 6-4. And we have to respect him a little bit too. So Van Zant's about a step and a half away. Not going to let him get behind it. First and 10, Nebraska from the Oklahoma State 33. Husker drive started at its own 20. Cowboys have stopped Nebraska only once today. They've scored on their other drives. Out of the eye, Taylor under center, gets a snap, hands it off to Jackson, running straight ahead, hit at the line of scrimmage, and dives forward for about two yards. Up to the down to the Oklahoma State 31, Marcus Brown, the backup inside linebacker, teaming up with Victor DeGrate to make that play. It'll be second and eight. Well, you can't say enough about Victor DeGrate coming up the line, fighting off his block. He's the first one there, and Brown just staying tough in the hole there. Mentioned Marcus Brown into the game at linebacker. In place of Roderick Johnson for this series of downs, Jeremy Nathan and Patrick Levine are the other linebackers. Nebraska second and eight from the Oklahoma State 31. Out of the eye, Taylor gets a snap, hands it off to Jackson, running off right guard to the 30, and he pushes the pile forward to the Oklahoma State 27, a gain of 
oh, we'll say three or four yards on the play. It'll be third down and four for Nebraska from the Cowboy 27 as Darnell Smith was the first man to make contact with the Cowboys. And if you're Nebraska, now you have the option. This is why, you know, third and short so much easier. You're not in an obvious passing situation here. Yes. This is not what you would term necessarily a predictable passing situation because they could go to four downs if they needed to. Third and four, Nebraska from the Cowboy 27. Huskers three out of six on third downs. Taylor under center. One back set with Jackson. Taylor gets a snap. It's a broken play. Now he's scrambling, running straight ahead, and he picked up maybe two yards on the broken play. Advanced it down to the Cowboy 25. Dave, Ryan think... McBean made the tackle, and Nebraska will send on the field goal team for what will be the longest field goal attempt for Nebraska this year. In fact, for Congdon, you can believe this, it'll be the longest field goal attempt of his Nebraska career, a 42-yarder. Well, they tried to run that counter pitch on that last play, and the back wasn't where Taylor expected him to be. Congdon has not attempted a field goal this long ever. From the middle of the field, 42-yard field goal attempt, snap back, line drive, kick on the way, and it's no good. He missed it wide left. Congdon is not a long-range field goal kicker. At least he's not demonstrated that in games during his Nebraska career, and he missed that one, and the Cowboy defense comes up with a stop. 10.53 left in the third, and the Huskers have a 23-20 lead over Oklahoma State. Timeout on the field. We'll pause on the Cowboy Radio Network. Hi, Cowboy fans. This is Chris from Kurt Shutters. To be successful on the football field takes dedication, hard work, and attention to detail. At Kurt Shutters, we feel the same way. We're dedicated and provide attention to detail to ensure you the best product available. We guarantee our quality plantation shutters to Cowboy fans wherever they might live. Call us toll-free at 800-416-6455. Stop by Monday through Friday or by appointment on Saturday at 8517 South Perkins Road. Or go online to www.kurtz.com. Picture lunch or dinner at El Vaquero. A plate of sizzling shrimp or strips of beef and chicken loaded with grilled onions, tomatoes, and bell peppers. Surrounded with authentic Mexican rice, refried beans, crisp lettuce, fresh guacamole, and pico de gallo. And topped off with sour cream. Wash it all down with an ice-cold 22-ounce macho mug of beer. You can experience this great meal every day at El Vaquero. Stillwater's authentic Mexican restaurant located at 5020 West 6th on Highway 51. Or call 377-8476 for reservations. Do people in metropolitan areas deserve more advanced medical care than people in the heart of Oklahoma? We don't think so either. That's why Stillwater Medical Center owns the best CT and MRI technology in the world. High-resolution imaging systems provide the fastest, most accurate diagnosis available. You deserve world-class technology provided by doctors among the best in their field. You'll find it at Stillwater Medical Center. The technology to treat, the compassion to heal. For more information, call 405-742-5622. to play third quarter. Nebraska 23, Oklahoma State 20, but the Cowboys with the ball first and 10 at their own 25 after the missed 42-yard field goal by the Huskers. Dave, you made the point. That was the longest field goal that he had ever attempted at Nebraska. This, at, yeah. at Nebraska. And with fourth and short and the way they've been running the ball, kind of a shock that they didn't go for it. You know, the thought I had was, you know, and no offense, I mean, Bill Callahan's had a great run at Nebraska, but that's almost like an NFL-type decision. That's exactly. something you would see in the NFL, whereas college coaches typically are a little more risky. We'll take more gambles on those fourth down and two situations, especially considering the success Nebraska has had running the football. They've averaged good grief, seven yards of running play. Let's at any see, rate. Let's see if they gamble on defense here. Yep. First and ten, Oklahoma State from its own 25. One back set. Bobby Reed under center. Ricky Price going in motion to the far side as Reed gets a snap. Fakes a handoff. Rolling out to his right under pressure. Looks down the field and just throws it away into the stands all the way down at the Nebraska 30. He just threw it away. He's under pressure. Boy, here came and Adam Carricker again from the defensive end position to disrupt that play and force Reed to throw it away out of bounds. Second and ten coming up. You don't see that very often with Bobby Reed, a guy that big that's been able to kind of stay with him and force him to make that play, but it's the right decision by Bobby to throw it away. Second and ten, Oklahoma State. Cowboys no huddle up to the line quickly from the OSU 25. Reed getting the play from the sideline. Reed, 
Reed gets the snap, hands it off to Hamilton, running on the left side, room to run to the 30, and he steps out of bounds on the left sideline at the 33-yard line of Oklahoma State. He could not quite get the corner turned. He gained eight yards, and had he been able to turn it, he would have had the necessary yardage for a first down. He's two yards shy. It'll be third and two for Oklahoma State. Ten minutes and 30 seconds left in the third. Cowboys trail number 20, Nebraska, 23-20. Great block by Corey Hilliard on the left side to help him start to turn the corner. And Dewan Woods was trying to shield two defenders out there by the sideline. High formation now. John Johnson and Mike Hamilton in the backfield on third and two. Reed fakes a handoff, throws near side, caught by Dewan Woods for a first down. Tackled at the 39-yard line, a gain of six. Courtney Grigsby, the cornerback, made the tackle. Quick throw, quick catch. Oklahoma State first down. Tight formation by the Cowboys. A bunch of men packed in the box by the Huskers. Pretty much one-on-one -on -one coverage. Nice route by Dewan, and Bobby puts it right on the money. Nebraska jumped out to a 16-0 lead in this game early in the second. The Cowboys now with the football, trying to tie the game with a field goal or take the lead with a touchdown, trailing 23-20. Now there's a problem getting the right personnel in the game. Mike Hamilton ran into the game at the last minute at tailback, and Bobby Reed, sensing big trouble, calls for a timeout. We'll take a timeout, too. With 10 minutes and 12 seconds left to play in the third, number 20, Nebraska, leads Oklahoma State 23-20. Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. Big 12 football returns to Norman and Stillwater. And thanks to Subway restaurants, you could too. Stop by participating Subway restaurants and register to win a pair of tickets to an OU or OSU home game this season. One pair will be given out to each school's home games all season. No purchase necessary. Grab a delicious fresh value meal with a regular 6-inch or foot-long sandwich, your favorite chips, and a 21-ounce drink. And don't forget to register to win OU or OSU home football tickets for a limited time at participating restaurants. Subway is a registered trademark of Doctors Associates Inc. Subway, eat fresh. Good morning, Harold. Good morning. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Look at what you're wearing. <laughs> Big game tomorrow. Yeah, but a team jersey, a ball cap, and sweatpants for a client meeting? Hey, be happy I didn't wear the face paint this week. There's a better way to show you're a fan. The OSU check card from BOK. Get yours today when you sign up for free checking. Bank of Oklahoma, our state's most convenient bank. Member FDIC. Get the good stuff. Attention OSU fans. Napa Auto Parts wants to give you a free soccer ball in your choice of sizes with a $40 purchase at participating locations of Napa Auto Parts. But you must hurry. Supplies of these free Napa soccer balls are limited. You can also register to win a chance to meet Michael Waltrip and tickets to the upcoming Next Hill Cup race right now at Napa. Contest ends October 20th. Only at Napa, a proud sponsor of OSU Cowboy Football. Get the good stuff. Napa. Get the good stuff. 10-12 to go, third quarter. Cowboys trailing Nebraska 23-20. OSU with a first and 10 from their own 39, and a timeout had been called by Bobby Reed as they tried to get the personnel straightened away there. And, you know, you hate to burn a timeout this early in the second half, yeah. Dave, but if it means you keep momentum, it's a good call. Today's your, game, oh, go ahead, John. I'm sorry. sorry about that. Get to your local Subway restaurant and register to win two tickets to the next OSU home football game. One pair of tickets will be given away for every home game this season. See Subway stores for details. Now you can talk, Dave. Sorry okay. Well, I'm always running my mouth too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 39. Dantrell Savage in the game as Reed goes to the shotgun and Savage in a one-back set to Bobby's left. We have Seth Newton in the game at wide receiver split far out to the left side as Reed gets a snap, runs the option to the left, keeps it. Big hole to the 45, has a first down and tackled at midfield. Well, a Nebraska player had the pitch, man, but nobody had Bobby Reed. So Reed takes it for 11 yards and an Oklahoma State first down before linebacker Corey McEwen made the tackle. Just something else for that Nebraska defense to have to deal with. You're right, the pitch man was covered. But great job by the offensive line to keep Carriker. He kept Carriker off. Of, that's Corey Hilliard. Kept Carriker off. Empty backfield. Diamond, four-man cluster of receivers to the right side. Single receiver to the left side. You've got Pettigrew, Adarius Bowman, Ricky Price, and Seth Newton in the cluster. And Dewan Woods alone to the left. Empty backfield as Reed gets a shotgun snap. Quick throw far side. Oh. The pass is tipped to the line of scrimmage and falls incomplete. Intended for Dewan Woods, but Barry Cryer, the defensive tackle, a 6'2 senior, Got a pop there and knocked it down. Incomplete pass, and that's too bad. They seem to have the 
personnel group and formation they wanted on the field on that play as Woods flashed wide open. Well, sometimes you see that wide receiver screen to that diamond side. They crossed him up and tried to hit Dewan on the slant. 23-20 Nebraska. Cowboys second and 10 from midfield. Reed in the shotgun with Dantrell Savage in a one-back set to his right. Bobby gets a snap, runs his own read, hands it off to Savage, straight ahead to the 45, and he dives forward all the way down to the Nebraska 41-yard line. Andrew Shamley, the free safety, made the tackle. They'll say Savage was brought down at the 42, two yards shy of the first down, so it'll be third and two for Oklahoma State. And you can't underestimate or overestimate how important that play is to give yourself an option here at third and short. Cowboys quickly up to the line. Reed under center, two tight ends, eye formation, third and two from the Nebraska 42. You hear him barking out the signals, and he looks to the sideline. Third and two. Reed hands it off to Savage, hitting the backfield, breaks free, spinning, turning, still on his feet, and he has a first down to the Nebraska 39-yard line. How in the world did he get away from two or three tackles in the backfield? Dancing around with those quick feet, and he picks up three yards and a Cowboy first down. What an effort by Tantrell Savage. Boy, what a run. And you know what that is, too? That's kind of a spirit crusher if you're a defender. You've got him. You've made your play, and somehow he spins out and picks up the first down. Now Keith Tostin, the true freshman, in a tailback. Reed under center, I formation, first and 10 from the Nebraska 39. Eight minutes and 44 seconds left to play in the third. Cowboys down three. Reed hands it off to Toasted. Running off left tackle, breaks a tackle in the backfield, carries tacklers forward for two yards to the Nebraska 37. And Domina Kung Su making the tackle from the interior of the... Nebraska defensive line. It'll be second and eight. Well, and after that play, I was watching the safeties that time who obviously are respecting a Darius Bowman back there. They're trying to bracket him like they talked about. He pointed to his left arm toward the bench to kind of tell him he thinks he sees something. Now Bowman split to the right. Anthony Parks comes in motion to the right side. Reed in the shotgun on second and eight from the Nebraska 37. Reed back to pass. Wide receiver screen is batted down in the backfield incomplete. Jay Moore, the defensive end, Knocked the ball down that was intended for Adarius Bowman on that little slip screen where the wide receiver catches it and then darts up the center of the field. Didn't work. Third and eight coming up for the Cowboys. Boy, that's almost picked off, too. If Moore picks that off, then maybe he takes it the distance. Cowboys a little lucky right there. If the ball would have been completed, John, Bowman might have been able to run a long way. Good defense by Nebraska, though. Third and eight, Oklahoma State. From the Nebraska 37, Cowboys three out of five on third downs. Reed in the shotgun, one back set. Bobby gets the snap, four-man rush. Sets up, hit as he throws, the pass is caught by Brandon Pettigrew at the 35, and he dives forward up to, well, down to the Nebraska 34 thereabouts. Minimal gain on the play. Tierre Green made the hit for Nebraska. It'll be fourth and five for Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 34. Decision time for Mike Gundy. It would be a 51-yard field goal, and the offense is staying on the field. How about this? Oklahoma State, John, seven out of nine on fourth downs. That's 78%. That's the fifth highest fourth down percentage in college football. They'll need that magic here. On fourth and five from the Nebraska 34. Reed gets a shotgun snap. Quick drop, quick throw, near side. It's dropped. Dropped by Anthony Parks at the Nebraska 27 incomplete. And Nebraska holds on downs. Oh, that's a heartbreaker right there because he's open. And Reed delivers the pass just a little bit high, but Parks knows. Parks will probably tell you he should have made that catch. So the score remains 23-20 Nebraska. Well, they had a chance to convert another fourth down and just couldn't quite finish it off. So the two teams have moved the football down the field on their first possessions of the second half, and neither has any points to show for it. Marlon Lucky now in a tailback for the Huskers. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. Taylor gets a snap, quick throw over the middle, and it's dropped, incomplete. Grant's Hardy was wide open at the Nebraska 40, about six yards down the field, and he dropped it, incomplete, second and ten coming up. Taylor with a quick recognition because both Levine and Johnson, even though they didn't come with a blitz, were showing that they might. Johnson trying to drop back into that area. Wasn't going to get there before 
the catch would have been made. Second and 10, Nebraska from its own 34. I formation, Taylor under center. Gets a snap, hands it off to Lucky, straight ahead to the 35, and tackled up at the Nebraska 38. Gain of four, it'll be third and six for the Huskers. Patrick Levine and Roderick Johnson, a pair of Cowboy linebackers, teamed up to make the play. And you're kind of in that situation now where, you know, you'd rather have Nebraska in third and six, obviously. But the way they've run the ball, it may still be an option for them here. Third and six, Nebraska from its own 38. Huskers three out of seven on third downs. Taylor goes to the shotgun. Two receivers to his right, one to his left, one back set. Cowboys show the blitz, linebackers creeping up to the line. And they come with five as Taylor gets a snap, throws over the middle, it's dropped, incomplete. The pass was behind the intended receiver, France Hardy at midfield. Incomplete pass, and Nebraska will have to punt it. As Taylor, I think, may have been feeling the heat just a bit and made one of his few poor throws on the afternoon. Well, he actually, Dave, I thought so too, but you look at the replay, he had time. He had more time than a couple of those completions he made in the first half with a cowboy right under his chin strap. Well, you're, I guess you're right seeing the replay. Titchener will stand at his own 23 to punt it away to Parrish Cox of Oklahoma State, who's 11th in America in punt returns. He'd love to bust one here. Titchener gets the snap, steps into it. Oh, this is a knuckleball, low kick, bounces at the Cowboy 33, rolls back toward midfield, oh, and a pl Cowboy player touched it. A Cowboy player touched it, and who has recovered? Did a Nebraska player recover it, or did a Nebraska player touch it first? Joe DeForest, the special teams coordinator, is out on the field trying to assess the situation. Well, whatever happens, you know this play is going to be challenged, or they're going to ask for a replay. They're trying to sort it out. Illegal touching against Nebraska. A penalty flag was thrown. Well, they just downed it first. They'll show the replay here. Timeout on the field. When Joe Riddle slaps us upside the head, we flag him for illegal touching. <laughs> 6.09 left in the third. Number 20, Nebraska. Leads Oklahoma State 23 to 20. Cowboy football from host communications continues in a moment. This is for Lee Newman and Ronnie Steck. Lee, Ronnie, you know, for two best friends who were on the same team way back in high school, you guys are ruthless when it comes to fantasy football. And AT&T has a few ways to help take your game to a whole new level. Want the fastest internet in town for the price? AT&T Yahoo high-speed internet is as low as $14.99 a month. And you can get up to 768 kilobits per second. Okay, so that's Lee and Ronnie's world. For everybody who's not them, whatever you want in your world, AT&T can deliver it. Make the switch from your old cable internet to the new AT&T. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT or visit att.com slash sports to sign up for as low as $14. $14.99 a month. Go online for the best deals and see how you can qualify for a Visa gift card worth up to $75. You know, if Lee and Ronnie end up in the championship and they've both got AT&T, this could get interesting. The new AT&T. Your world. Delivered. First big claim based on comparison to major broadband providers. For residential customers only where available. All offers require qualifying AT&T local phone service. Visa gift card applies to plans price $19.99 or higher. For details of additional charges, restrictions, and requirements, call 1-866-416-6471. Toll free or visit att.com slash offer details. Congratulations, you're a winner. That's right, you can save big on car insurance just by switching to State Farm. With so many discounts, you can't lose. Got a good driving record? Own more than one car? You may even be eligible for a discount for insuring both your home and car. At State Farm, you'll get a great price and good neighbor service. So stop gambling with other insurance companies and switch to State Farm today. Find a State Farm agent in the AT&T Yellow Pages. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at Boone Pickens Stadium in Stillwater, number 20, Nebraska, leads Oklahoma State 23-20 to with 6.09 left to play in the third and they are reviewing the previous punt by Nebraska trying to determine whether the proper call was made. They ruled that Oklahoma State would have the football after an illegal touch by Nebraska. Now they're trying to assess this and they've gone to the replay booth to sort it out. Cowboy football is brought to you by the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. Come join our centennial celebration in Oklahoma, Native America. 
Freddie Paul Steakhouse is a proud sponsor of the Cowboy Radio Network. Come to Freddie Paul's in Stillwater seven days a week for all your dining needs. Freddie Paul's, the place for steaks. Nebraska jumped out to a 16-0 lead early in the second. The Cowboys battled back. It's 23-20 in favor of the Huskers now. Let's go down to the sideline of Robert Allen. And I'm getting better at reading lips, guys. The referee just asked a field judge who made the call and is standing with him on the headset which Nebraska player he felt touched it. He wrote it down, 32. Ruling the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field That's stands. Good. That's a big call. A big call. Today's game brought to you by Budweiser. Grab a cold, fresh Budweiser. It's game time by Conoco and Phillips 66. By Napa Auto Parts and by Oklahoma Highway Safety. Today's game sponsor. And they do a great job, by the way, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol. Yes, they do. Protecting us. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 36. Mike Hamilton into the game at tailback. One of three tailbacks the Cowboys have used today. That's the usual manner of business for the Cowboy offense. Two receivers to the left side, one to the right. Reed retreats to the shotgun on first and 10. Hands it off to Hamilton on the zone read, running on the right side. Pushes it up to the 37, a gain of one. Adam Carricker, the defensive end with the stop. He's had a huge afternoon for the Huskers. It'll be second and nine. Key down here for your offense. You know, if you don't pick up the first down, obviously you want something that gives you the run-pass option on third and short. Reed in the shotgun, two receivers to each side. Adarius Bowman goes in motion to the left side. On second and nine, it's a handoff to Dantrell Savage straight ahead to the 39 and tackled at the 40. Gain of three, third down and six coming up. Stuart Bradley, the linebacker, with the tackle for Nebraska. We work our way down to the five-minute mark. That's the time remaining here in the third quarter at Boone Pickens Stadium in Stillwater. After a 33-point second quarter, there's been no scoring here in the third. Boy, that big defensive tackle, too. Ola Dagenduro, all sweet on that play. Reed in the shotgun, third and six from the Cowboy 40. Gets the snap, drops back, throws over the middle, and the pass is caught by the tight end, Brandon Pettigrew, at midfield, and he falls forward to the Nebraska 48. That's a heck of a catch by Pettigrew in traffic that picks up 12 yards and a Cowboy first down. Brian Wilson, the safety, was right on his back. That didn't distract the 6'5", 265-pound tight end. First down, Cowboys. And a safe pass for the most part. It's not a long pass. Great catch. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 48. High formation. Reed under center. Gets the snap. Fakes a handoff. Drops back to pass. Sets up. Throws it deep down the middle for Adarius Bowman. It's incomplete at the Nebraska 10. Wow. Two defenders were there. Brian Wilson... The safety, along with cornerback Courtney Grigsby, had Bowman double covered. Fans wanted a flag, but you can't take away the chance for two defenders to basically hog up the path of the guy running the pattern, and that was good defense. Well, incomplete. Yeah, Grigsby's got to kind of make a play on the ball, too, Dave. You can't just get in front of him and, and just kind of slow down, and that's kind of why the people were uh, all getting upset. <laughs> Second and 10, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 48. 422 left in the third. Cowboys down 23-20. Play clock down to two, down to one as Reed gets the snap. Pitches it to Hamilton. Running on the left side, trying to turn a corner to the 46 of Nebraska. And he steps out of bounds right at the 46. It'll be third down and eight coming up. As Oklahoma State has moved it into Nebraska territory again. They've had three possessions where they've advanced it into Husker territory but have failed to score and Mike Gundy and the Cowboys hoping this doesn't become the fourth occurrence here as we work our way into the late stages of the third quarter. Bradley really strung that play out. Corey Hilliard trying to get out there to get him. Third and eight Cowboys from the Nebraska 46. Reed in the shotgun. Cowboys four for seven on third down. Reed gets the snap. Runs the option play to the right. Keeps it. And he pushes the ball to the Nebraska 45, a gain of two. That was well defensed. Adam Carricker chased him down from behind. Bobby Reed really had nowhere to go. Well, that's because of Carricker. And he comes back, you know, he's unblocked basically on that. He fought through the middle of the line that time. He's lined up more in a tackle position and fought off his block with ease. Cowboys will punt it away. Matt Fodge standing at his own 41 to kick it away. 
Courtney Grigsby standing at his own 10 with hopes of returning. Well, they may let it run down here. Yeah. Bodge gets a snap, steps into it. Line drive, knuckleball, end over end, taken by Grigsby at the 9. Straight ahead to the 15 and tackled at the 20-yard line. So a 36-yard punt by Fodge and a 10-yard return. Nebraska will begin first to 10 from its own 20. It's hard to believe after that flurry in the second quarter that no one's put any points on the board so far here in the third. Defense has done a pretty good job. Another three and out here would help that field position. With this break in the action, speaking of breaks, see your local O'Reilly Auto Parts dealer for all your automotive parts needs. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts at better prices every day. First and 10, Nebraska from its own 20. Brandon Jackson, who's rushed for 148 yards in a one-back set as Taylor gets the snap, drops back to pass, throws over the middle, it's incomplete. And a late flag comes down. Martel Van Zandt will be called for pass interference against Maurice Purify. There's two flags down. I think, yeah, I think it's think for the... Well, maybe against Nebraska. I I'm think not the sure first what one, the deal is. Well, it depends on how they call it here, too, because Van Zandt, I think, did reach out and grab Purify a little bit. Now, but, Purify was running sort of a, what you'd call a skinny post pattern, and to be honest, if he doesn't get held up, I think he goes a long way if he catches it, John, and Van Zandt obviously knew he was in trouble. Was in trouble. Let's listen in. Pass interference against Oklahoma State. Then we have a dead ball, personal foul against Nebraska. So, in Basically essence, we'll just it. replay the down. Boy, the Cowboys caught a break there. Now, let's see if they bother to oh, of course step they it off 15 one way and then go back the other way. Here, I'll give you something. I'll give you a uh, an interlude to take care of the time while they're walking. Yeah, he went up to the 35. Now he walks back. There you go. Well, come visit your Oklahoma Chevy team dealers during this football season and register for the OSU Ultimate Fan Experience. For each home game, one lucky fan will win four game tickets, four hospitality tickets, a football autograph, Mike Gundy, and a behind-the-scenes tour. Each winner is entered into a drawing to win an OSU-branded 2007 Tahoe. Now give the umpire credit. He hustled back and forth so we could get this thing started again. So we're right back to first and 10 for Nebraska from its own 20. Huskers up 23-20. Taylor gets a shotgun snap. Here comes a blitz. He throws it deep down the middle and passes incomplete at the 42-yard line intended for Nate Swift. Good coverage there by Donovan Woods. It'll be second down and 10 for the Huskers. Well, good coverage also on that bottom side of Andre by Andre Sexton had another receiver in the area. Victor DeGreat was bearing down. Darnell Smith got back there to put a little pressure on Taylor, too. Pass was high and incomplete. Jacob Lacey was actually the man who was stride for stride with the receiver. I think he pointed that out, John. I missed that one. Second and 10, Nebraska from its own 20. One back set. Brandon Jackson lined up behind Taylor on second and 10. It's a pitch to Jackson. Makes a cut back toward the middle to the 20. Reverses field. Turns a corner near side. First down to the 30, and he steps out of bounds at the 31-yard line. And a flag comes down, though, at the 26. We may have a flag against Nebraska. Wow, that's another break. The illegal block in the back against the Huskers. That's the fourth penalty against Nebraska. So they'll move it back to the 10-yard line or thereabouts. Actually, I beg your pardon. I lost my spot. They'll take it back. It's a spot foul. It goes back to the 16. So it'll be second down and 14 for Nebraska from there. Jackson put a pretty good move on Martel Van Zandt once he came around the corner here. Uh, I, I think they're going to get sorted out here in just a second. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the third. Number 20, Nebraska, leads Oklahoma State 23-20 to here in Stillwater. As the shadows of the players get longer as we move our way into the late afternoon October hours. Taylor's trying to get the play in. 
Taylor under center, offset eye formation. Crowd really making noise on second and 14. Taylor gets a snap, sets up the screen. It's caught by Lucky over the middle to the 20, 25, first down 30. Still on his feet to the 35 and tackled at the Nebraska 37-yard line. A gain of 21 and a Nebraska first down as Donovan Woods finally tackled the Nebraska tailback off the screen pass. That's a good call. Cowboys with some heavy rush up front. They let Ryan McBean get through, and he just about jumped up high enough to catch that pass. There were a lot of orange jerseys right when Lucky made the catch, but nobody could make the play. First and 10, Nebraska from its own 37, late in the third. Taylor in the shotgun gets a snap. Five-man rush, throws near side. The pass is too high, incomplete, intended for Maurice Purify. At the Nebraska 48, Martel Van Zant in coverage. Second and 10 coming up for the Huskers. First half, Dave. Zach Taylor was making those throws and making them on the money. You know, there's been just enough pressure now. I think Larry Brown was the one that kind of got up in the throwing lane there and jumped up there. Taylor was 9 out of 10 in the first half. Second half, he is 2 for 7. Yeah, how about that? Second and 10, Huskers. From their own 37, 210 left in a third. Lucky in a one-back set, Taylor under center. Taylor gets a snap, pitches it to Lucky, running on the left side. Up ended at the line of scrimmage on the near sideline, tackled for no gain. Victor to great, dove in there and took his legs out from underneath him. It'll be third and about 10 for the Huskers. They gave him a one-yard game, we'll say third and nine. Patrick Levine also over there, but a nice job by the senior defensive end, Victor DeGrate. Boy, he's played some outstanding football, especially the last two weeks. Well, make it the last three weeks. Third and long situation for Nebraska. Third and nine. Huskers are three out of eight on third down. Boone Pickens Stadium crowd on its feet. The shadows have overtaken the south side as Taylor lines up in the shotgun with four receivers. One to his left. Cowboys have four down linemen. Two linebackers sneak up there. They may come with extra pressure, and Taylor will burn a timeout. Giving him a different look, making him think about it. Smart call by Zach Taylor. Oklahoma's pork producers at the Oklahoma Pork Council are proud supporters of Cowboy football. They want to help you stay on top of your game this tailgate season. The other white meat is now leaner than ever and a perfect fit for your grill or smoker. Go to okpork.org for great tailgating recipes. Bank of Oklahoma is proud to sponsor OSU's tradition of excellence on and off the field. Show your orange power with a free OSU check card. You'll get free checking, free online bill pay, and access to hundreds of ATMs statewide, all from Oklahoma's leading bank. You're better off at BOK, member FDIC. Let's go down to the field quickly to Robert Allen. You know, one thing, Dave, you mentioned earlier on that field goal attempt, it showed an NFL mentality. The Cowboys, the last, well, really since the Kansas game, have been very multiple on defense, changing out personnel quite a bit. People that are watching this at home can see the same thing out of this Nebraska offense. It's amazing how many different personnel groups they'll come at you with. And I counted just on this last possession, they've had five different personnel groups with wow. receivers and running backs mixed. Thank you, Robert. So it's third and nine for Nebraska as the Huskers break a huddle on the far sideline where they were able to converse with their head coach, Bill Callahan. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Taylor will go to the shotgun. One back set with Brandon Jackson to his left. On third and nine, Cowboys rush five. Taylor back to pass, throws short, and the pass is broken up. Incomplete. Swift got a hand on it. Jacob Lacey did two, and he knocked it away. And on fourth and nine, Nebraska will punt. Great job by Lacey. He was trailing on the play, and the ball may have th been thrown just behind the receiver a little bit. Victor DeGrade again with pressure. Ryan McBean up the middle. It was thrown just a hair behind and right to where Lacey was to make it an easy defense pass. Dan Kitchener will punt it away. 32-yard average so far on the day. Came into the game averaging just 39 yards a punt. Parrish Cox deep to return it at the Cowboy 25. Good snap. Kitchener steps into it. This is a high, wobbly spiral, short kick. And Cox has the ball go off his leg at the 25-yard line, but it rolled immediately out of bounds. At least it appeared. It appeared that it hit Cox in the leg. 
from our vantage point high atop the playing surface here. The Cowboys will have the ball first and 10 from their own 24. We'll try to look at a replay and see if indeed that ball hit Parrish Cox. Perhaps not. Well, Joe DeForest over the sideline having a talk with Parrish Cox. A kind of encouragement kind of talk. He took his eye off the ball just for a moment to check the defense. I think you're right, Dave. I think it hit him in the right thigh. If not, it was dangerously close. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 24, going left to right on your radio dial here in the third quarter. One back set with Dantrell Savage, Reed under center. Bobby fumbles the snap and has to fall on it for a four-yard loss back at the 20. It'll be second down and 14 for Oklahoma State from its own 20-yard line with 43 seconds left in the third. We owe you a station identification. We'll get that to you perhaps after the next play. 23-20, Nebraska leads Oklahoma State. 30 seconds left in the third. Second and 14 Cowboys from their own 20. Reed in the shotgun, one back set. Bobby gets the snap, drops back the pass, has time, throws far side, caught by Anthony Parks. Hit immediately and stopped after a five-yard gain. At the Cowboy 25, it'll be third and nine when the fourth quarter begins. Three quarters in the books as we wind down the last few seconds of the third quarter. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Cowboy Radio Network. Five decades of commitment to OSU Sports, your flagship station for OSU Sports since 1947. KSPI, Stillwater. Number 20, Nebraska, leads Oklahoma State 23-20 to after three quarters in Stillwater. We'll pause on the Cowboy Radio Network. Attention all nurses, Cimarron Correctional Facility in Cushing is now hiring for full-time RNs and LPNs positions in a safe and secure state-of-the-art clinical facility with low nurse-to-patient ratio. They offer up to 27 days paid time off, medical and dental benefits, 401k, paid pre-service training, competitive wages, free meals, and free uniforms. To qualify, you must be at least 21 years of age, no felonies, and have a current driver's license and valid nursing license. To apply, please call Ms. Southard at 918-225-333. Six. Crossroads Roofing and Drywall Supply wants to be the choice for all your roofing and drywall supplies. Whether you're a contractor or a homeowner, Crossroads will meet your needs. Crossroads carries all major brands of shingles, including Tamco and Owens Corning and Gypsum Drywall. Not only do they carry top quality products, but they also provide rooftop deliveries. No more hauling all those heavy shingles up the ladder. And they can deliver anywhere. Crossroads Roofing and Drywall Supply is located at 2308 East 6th Street or call 533-7663. Hi, this is Terry from Pleasant Pools. Dreaming of a spa but afraid you don't have the room or the money or an electrician to do the wiring? Problem solved. Pleasant Pools and Spas offers the new Dream Maker Spas. With Dream Maker's plug-and-play technology, you can take one home and plug it in and be playing in it in no time. No special electrical hookups required. The Eclipse is specially priced at $26.95 and the Odyssey is priced at $31.95. Make your dreams come true. See the Dream Maker Spas at Pleasant Pools in Stillwater or any of our Pleasant Pools and Spas 4 metro locations. Call 624-8833 for the location nearest you. Start of the fourth quarter here in Stillwater, Nebraska 23, the Cowboys 20. Today's stats brought to you by Oklahoma Propane. Through three quarters now, you check the total yards. Nebraska with a 355 to the Cowboys 304. Well, the average per play, just about even. Nebraska 7.1, Cowboys 6.8. Through the air, Zach Taylor, 11 of 18 for 144 yards and a touchdown. Bobby Reed, 10 of 17 for 133. Two TDs and an interception on the ground. Brandon Jackson, 18 carries for the Huskers, 154 yards and two scores. Marlon Lucky, also nine carries for 42. Cowboys have split it up pretty evenly. Bobby Reed, 55 yards on the ground, 53 for Savage, 45 for Toaston. Mike Hamilton, five carries for 16. Oklahoma propane, clean, safe, dependable propane delivers. Third and nine coming up for Oklahoma State, John, from the Cowboy 25. Three receivers to the right side, one to the left. Mike Hamilton in a one-back set to Bobby Reed's right. Bobby's in the shotgun. Nebraska shows blitz. Now they back away. Reed gets a snap. Four-man rush. Pumps. Sets up. Throws it deep down the near side for DeJuan Woods. He makes a catch. 35, 25 in Nebraska territory. And knocked down. and go from Dewan Woods. Andre Jones is the corner out there. 
and he goes right by Jones. That's been the problem for Nebraska's defense all year long. The cornerbacks have been burned for big plays. That was a 55-yard throw and catch. Cowboys first and 10 from the Nebraska 20. Reed under center, eye formation. Dantrell Savage in a tailback. It's a handoff to Savage, running off right tackle. Right sideline, 15 to the 10, turns the corner to the 5, and he's into the end zone. Pistols firing, touchdown, Dantrell Savage. Great job up front. Again, they snapped the ball before it really looked like Nebraska was set. All that jumping around. He makes one move on the linebacker, evades a tackler. And how many times do we have to say it? Dewan Woods is out there shielding a cornerback and oh, allowing Savage to get in the end zone. What a great block. Rick's on for the point after. The Cowboys have their first lead 26 seconds into the fourth quarter. If you're just joining us, the Cowboys were down 16-0 early in the second. Ricks has had one point after a block today. Snap, back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. Well, that's a nice job by Cole Reynolds to straighten that snap up. No question. 14-34 left. Oklahoma State leads number 20, Nebraska, 27-23 as Bullet takes a stroll down the field. This is the Cowboy Radio Network. It has long been said that an apple a day will keep the doctor away. But in order to avoid the pharmacist a tiger drug, you will need an apple and a large bag of corn nuts. Please don't ask me why. Tiger Drug, 9th and Walnut. Over these many years, people often ask, why is it called Tiger Drug? Just where did the name Tiger Drug come from? Well, everyone was in agreement that monkey drug just sounded stupid. Tiger Drug, 9th and Walnut. Jenny has allergies. Horrible allergies. But now, Train can help allergen-sensitive people like Jenny. A Train Clean Effect system removes up to 99.98% of the allergens from all the air that it heats or cools. Really? Really. Let's find you a Train dealer and some tissues or something. Your Train Comfort Specialist dealer is Country Comfort Heating and Cooling. Call Country Comfort today, 547-5046. 547-5046. And remember... It's hard to stop a train. You think your pet may need to see a veterinary specialist? The OSU Veterinary Teaching Hospital on the OSU Stillwater campus is staffed with board-certified veterinary specialists in small animal medicine and surgery, ophthalmology, radiology, anesthesiology, equine medicine, and surgery and food animal medicine. Their hospital routinely receives referral cases from veterinarians throughout Oklahoma and from the neighboring states of Arkansas, Kansas, Missouri, and Texas. Ask your local veterinarian to call their hospital at 405-744-7000 for a referral appointment. Council. It's a handoff to Savage, running off right tackle, right sideline, 15 to the 10, turns the corner to the 5, and he's into the end zone! Pistols firing, touchdown, 10, Trill, Savage! Action on tape from just a moment ago, the second touchdown run of the afternoon for Dantrell Savage. And Oklahoma State has taken its first lead, 27 to 23, over number 20, Nebraska. Four plays, 76 yards on the drive. A 55-yard throw from Bobby Reed to Dewan Woods on the previous play set up that TD run. Bruce Redden will kick it off from right to left. Knuckleball, line drive down the center of the field. It bounces end over end. It's fielded by Nebraska's Hardy at the goal line to the left side to the 10. Breaks a tackle there, and he scampers out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Well, Redden hit a line drive knuckleball that took kind of a crazy hop, and Hardy had to retreat to field it at the goal line, and he managed to get it out to the 17 where Nebraska will begin first and 10. And these teams playing to what we said they did up coming, in, coming up into this ball game. That is big plays, striking with big plays. Some new defensive linemen in there too, Dave. Xavier Lawson. Count? Yep. Xavier Lawson Kennedy. I'm sorry, John Jure Chatham. Peterson. 
into the game as well at defensive end on first down a handoff to Jackson off right guard hit at the line of scrimmage and tackled for no gain Patrick Levine and Roderick Johnson two linebackers out of the state of Texas teaming up to make the tackle second and ten all right we got on Roderick early in the game first drive when it looked like he may have gotten himself out of position a couple of times and couldn't wrap people up this time he is right there Jackson had nowhere to go Second and 10, Nebraska from its own 17. Oklahoma State trailed 16-0 early in the second. The Cowboys have come back to take a 27-23 lead early in the fourth. Nebraska second and nine from its own 18 as Taylor gets the snap, drops back, sets up, throws over the middle. The pass is caught by Purify. Ducks under a tackler at the 24 and pushes the ball up to the 26. A yard shy of the first down, Martel Van Zant made the hit. And there's an injured Nebraska player Back at the 13-yard line, one of the Husker offensive linemen is down. Purify, in the last few weeks, a junior college transfer receiver for Nebraska, has become really their big play threat at the wide receiver position, despite the fact that they had two quality wide receivers returning from a year ago in Terrence Nunn and Nate Swift. It'll be third and about a yard coming up for Nebraska. Well, that was there was not a whole lot of room for Taylor to fit that ball in. Roderick Johnson was almost there. But a nice throw by Zach Taylor. Wheeler's is a proud sponsor of Oklahoma State football. Wheeler's hot dogs and sausages, a great compliment for a bun. Today's game brought to you by Oklahoma Highway Safety by the new AT&T. Your world delivered by Sonic. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. And by the Oklahoma Beef Council. The injured player for Nebraska, John, is Greg Austin, who's had a injury plague season so far this year. Senior out of Cypress, Texas. Missed the Kansas State game with a knee injury. As 18 career starts, it looks like they're working on his knee as we speak. Well, Dave, you, and Robert can probably sense this down on the sideline. It may be good to go to him, but you get the feeling up here that this team can feel it. You know, you've been so close that, you know, you can feel it. There's still plenty of time in this ballgame for anything to happen, but that this, this could be this time when you finally do make the plays late in the game that's going to help you pull out a victory. Again, it was 16-0 Nebraska at the 10.43 mark of the second. Then the play that probably changed the game was a 49-yard scamper by Bobby Reed that gave the Cowboys a chance to punch in their first score of the contest. And from that point on, it really seemed to change the complexion of the game. I say 49 yards. Actually, officially, I beg your pardon, a 56-yard run by Reed that set the table for... The Cowboys' first touchdown and offensive success beyond that point. Well, you come back out on the field. You got Peterson, Xavier Lawson, Kennedy, Dre Chatham, and Marquis Fountain up front. And Alex Odiari at one of the linebacker spots with Johnson and Levine. Also, Nathan is in there as well. So you, in effect, Dave, have four linebackers. Third and one, Nebraska from its own 26. Taylor hands it off to Glenn straight ahead, hitting the backfield. Pushes the ball forward. I think he got the first down running off left tackle up to the 27. Roderick Johnson hit him in the backfield, but he bounced off just enough to move the ball close to a first down. Jeremy Nathan was there, too. Glenn is the more powerful of the four Nebraska tailbacks. It kind of fell sideways at an angle. You know, it looked like from our vantage point that he got it, but, you know, he didn't fall straight forward. He was kind of knocked to the side, as you mentioned, by Johnson, and he fell at an angle. And he didn't stretch the ball out either. Well, they may have to measure this. 27-23, Oklahoma State leads number 20, Nebraska. 12.54 left to play in the fourth quarter. And they're going to pull these chains and see. Well, they pulled it. He Did he get it? Just by the nose of the football. First down, Nebraska. Well, now they got a fresh set of downs, but still, if you can hold them without a first down in this part of the field, again, the field position is so important, especially when you get down to a close game like this in the fourth quarter. Now the first team interior defensive line is back out there. Ryan McBean and Larry Brown return. Marquis Fountain and Nathan Peterson are the ends. This is a standard defense for the Cowboys, 4-3. Nebraska working out at the offset eye on first and 10 for the Huskers. Taylor fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, under pressure, hit and sacked! Marquis Fountain made the sack back at the Nebraska 20-yard line! His third sack of the year for negative seven.
Fountain. Fountain was there, and boy, right behind him was Nathan Peterson. A nice play fake there, but it didn't fool Fountain. He just busted around his man. Hardly blocked at all. It was a play-action pass. They actually take the ball back to the 19. It'll be second and 18 from there. Taylor under center. Gets the snap. Drops back, throws a screen. It's dropped. Lucky dropped the ball at the 20-yard line. Incomplete. It'll be third down and 18 for Nebraska. John, I hate to bring this up. But in a very similar situation against Kansas, a third and 18. Nebraska hit a home run ball for a touchdown late in the game. Well, if you're the Cowboy defense, and you, you want to be aggressive enough, but make sure it doesn't get thrown over your head. Exactly. You wouldn't think they could do it again, partner. Well, they got two safeties back this time. They've been playing with just Sexton back. Taylor gets a shotgun snap. Here comes a blitz. Hit as he throws. Throws it deep down the right side. It's incomplete. Incomplete at midfield intended for Terrence Nunn. It's fourth at 18. The Cowboys were coming with a safety blitz, and Nebraska will have to punt. And the yeah. Cowboy defense has pitched a shutout in the second half so far, John. Donovan Woods, he came a long way on that safety blitz. And he put enough pressure there, but I think the pressure has gotten to Taylor just a little bit because he still had just a little time to let that one go. Levine also came from his linebacker spot and actually was the closest one to Taylor when he let it go. Kitchener will punt out of the shadows of the portable Jumbotron, standing at his own five-yard line. Parrish Cox deep to return it at the OSU 40. Gets the snap, steps into it. High, wobbly spiral. Bounces at the 40, hits the official. Bounces inside the 30, inside the 25, and is downed at the Cowboy 22-yard line. A 54-yard punt that probably only traveled 40 in the air. Parrish Cox looks like he may have lost that ball in the sun, with Boone Pickens Stadium being one of just a couple of facilities where you're working from east to west and west to east. And the Cowboys are working... He was looking into the sun as he tried to catch that punt. Timeout on the field, 11.40 left to play in the fourth. Oklahoma State leads number 20, Nebraska, 27 to 23. Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. The Oklahoma State Cowboys. The Oklahoma Sooners. Yeah, they're bitter rivals, but there is one thing they can both agree on. When every player is committed to success, nothing can hold them back. At Chevy, we couldn't agree more. Whether you're talking Silverado, Tahoe, or Suburban, our team of trucks works hard and plays even harder. Right now, get to your participating Oklahoma Chevy team dealership to register for the OSU Ultimate Fan Experience. For each home game, one lucky fan will win four game tickets, four hospitality tickets, an autographed football by Mike Gundy, and a behind-the-scenes tour. Each winner is entered into a drawing to win an OSU-branded 2007 Tahoe. See your local Oklahoma Chevy team dealer for more details, and go Pokes! If you're already thinking about winter heating costs, consider this. The average household can cut energy costs by one-third to one-half just by making Power Plus energy improvements around your home. Like replace your old heating and cooling system with a new energy-efficient heat pump. Insulate, caulk, and weather strip. And lower your water heater temperature. Get more tips at OGE.com. There are always OGE Power Plus helps save energy together. 11 minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Oklahoma State leads number 20, Nebraska, 27-23. The Huskers have been held to just 89 yards of offense in the second half after gaining 268 in the first half. Oklahoma State with the football. First and 10 from its own 23. Reed under center out of the eye. Dantrell Savage is the tailback. John Johnson the fullback. And Savage with two touchdown runs already this afternoon. Bowman to the left. 
Dewan Woods to the right. Reed hands it off to Savage. Off right guard. Big hold to the 25 to the 30. And his forward progress is stopped all the way up at the Cowboy 31. A gain of eight yards for Savage, who now has 12 carries for 81 yards in those two touchdowns on the afternoon. Second and two coming up. Low center of gravity, the strength in his legs, and the quick feet, Dave. That all adds up here because he's not a big guy. And he's got big guys trying to bring him down. Now Savage is just 5'9", 190 pounds. Junior college transfer from Columbus, Georgia. Seconded to Oklahoma State from its own 31. From the right hash mark, the far hash mark, high formation. Savage still in the game at tailback. Reed, broken play. He'll keep it running on the right side, and he dives back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be third and two from there. So each team now has a busted running play in the second half. The Cowboys were able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll have another chance at it on third and two from their own 31. I, right before the snap, John Johnson, the fullback, turned around and said something to Savage. So makes me believe that either one of them wasn't sure or the information being shared was the wrong information. Good observation, partner. Cowboys five out of nine on third downs. Third and two, Oklahoma State from the Cowboy 31. I formation to one, Woods split to the left. Reed runs the option play, keeps it up the middle, has a first down to the 35, and he leaps over a tackler, taking it up to the 37-yard line, a gain of six. Bobby Reed did not run the ball where the play was designed to go. He just took it straight ahead for six yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, you know, some people may look at that and say, hey, another busted play back-to-back, -back. but I think they wanted to run the option, but Reed's quick recognition, well, he had nowhere else to go. He, he just had a made cutback. a play. Yeah, he just made a cutback. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 37. Reed fakes a handoff, rolling out to his right. Can runner pass, throws it down the right side. The pass is caught by a Darius Bowman in Nebraska territory, out of bounds on the far sideline at the Husker 44-yard line. Gain of 19 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. Well, he made such a great cut there that I think he, he forced Courtney Grixby out of his shoe. But... The ability to get outside of the pressure from the defensive end there as he was just being shielded, that helps make that play a lot easier for Bobby Reed. Cowboys have 205 yards on the ground, 207 in the air. They've been balanced all year long. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 44. Reed gets a snap. Quick handoff to Savage. Makes a spin move in the backfield. Running on the left side, 40, 35, 30, near sideline, and he steps out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Made a spin move in the backfield and took it 18 yards down the near sideline for an Oklahoma State first down. Wow. Adam Carricker is the defensive end who's played a great game, but he is left grasping at air. Great individual play by Savage. Let's go down to the sideline and Robert Allen. Yeah, I kind of wondered why Savage stepped out of bounds, guys. And I, I don't think it's anything major. And I'm looking, Toastin has come out there, but when he got out of bounds, he did grab back at his right uh, right thigh. So, I mean, it was so sudden because he really still had more running room down the sideline, and I think he started to feel a twinge. So they're probably stretching him out right now. 13 carries for 99 yards for Dantrell Savage. Cowboys first and 10 from the Nebraska 26. Up 27-23 is Oklahoma State with 9 minutes and 26 seconds left in the fourth. Reed under center. Keith Tosin in at tailback now, the true freshman. Reed hands it off to Tosin. Running on the left side. 25-20. Runs to a tackle at the 15. Still on his feet on the left sideline. And tackled at the 11-yard line of the Huskers. A 15-yard gain and an Oklahoma State first down. And right now, it's these young Cowboys that are taking the physical play to the Nebraska Corn Huskers. That's Andrew Shanley. This is true freshman on senior. Once Shanley comes over, Head-to-head, -head, Tostin wins it. Nebraska had not allowed more than 187 yards rushing in a game this year. Now they've given up 237 to Oklahoma State. Cowboys first and 10 from the Nebraska 12. OSU up 27-23. Reed hands it off to Tostin. Big hole, straight ahead to the five, and he dives all the way down to the Nebraska two-and-a-half-yard line. A quick hitter handoff to Tostin, and he's very close to a first and goal for Oklahoma State. Well, they bring in Johnson. They bring in that jumbo set. 
the Cowboys do. Jeremiah Burton also in there. He's They'll about save. a half yard short, Dave. Second and short from the Nebraska three. Cowboys have averaged 10 yards per play, according to our good friend Danny Randolph, on this drive. 27-23 Oklahoma State. Cowboys second and a half yard from the Nebraska three. Julius Crossland into the game for the Cowboys at tailback. And Crossland gets a handoff running on the right side. Runs through a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Pushes the ball up to about the one. He did get the first and goal. So it'll be first and goal for Oklahoma State from the Nebraska one as Crossland took it off right tackle. Last week. The impressive nature of the Cowboys' offensive line. They got in this situation and just pounded it right at the Aggies up front and were able to get in the end zone. A little bit off tackle there for Crossland, but you've got four downs here for a touchdown and a defensive stop, and you're in great shape. And the defense, as we said earlier, has held Nebraska to 89 second-half yards, and they've kept them scoreless. First and goal, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska one. Three tight ends. Hamilton, the tailback. Reed hands it off to the fullback. Straight ahead. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Julius Crossman. What a job by that Cowboy offensive line. Crossland, well, he didn't get much action, but you know when he comes in the game, it's for a good reason. The right side just pushed the Huskers left defensive front back into the end zone a couple of yards. Kurt Seifried also helping open up a hole on that right side for the Cowboys. Jason Ricks on for the point after to try to give the Cowboys an 11 point lead. They were down folks 16 nothing early in the second. Snap back, fall down, line drive, kick, partially blocked, but it still goes through. Lee. It's good. The kick is good. 8.05 left in the fourth. Oklahoma State has outscored Nebraska 34-7 since the 10-minute mark of the second quarter. It's the Cowboys 34, the number 20 Huskers 23 as Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. Twilight lingers over your backyard. The charcoals turn from black to red to white. It's time. Four perfect steaks hit the grill, making a sizzling sound that says summer is here. The cicadas hit their crescendo. They're saying, welcome back, friend. We missed you. The feeling is mutual. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Brought to you by the Oklahoma Beef Council at oklabeef.org. WSF News now takes you to Dan the Man Trooper who's out walking the streets. Thanks, guys. I'm out here asking everyone who walks by about car insurance and what company they go to for great service and low rates. Well, the overwhelming response has been State Farm. That's because State Farm gives more discounts to more drivers than any other insurance company. So if you want great service at a great price, get State Farm. Reporting for WSF, I'm Dan the Man Trooper. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Find a State Farm agent in the AT&T Yellow Pages. I got a new job and a little cash. I want a flat screen and I want it fast. So I'm gonna eat smart and save some money. Cause if your stuff ain't cool, people look at you funny. That's what I'll do. Dollar menu. Double cheeseburgers, McChicken sandwiches, and apple pies. The price can bring a tear to my eye. Dollar menu makes everything seem within reach. So I don't borrow from friends and seem like a leech. That's what I'll do. Dollar menu. Prices and participation may vary. First and goal, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska one. Three tight ends. Hamilton, the tailback. Reed hands it off to the fullback. Straight ahead. Pistol firing. Touchdown, Julius Crossland. That play just a moment ago has given Oklahoma State a 34 to 23 lead over number 20, Nebraska. Dave Hunziker, John Holcomb, Robert Allen, John Philbeck, Eddie Neuendorf, Danny Randolph, Dennis Smith, Josh Gottfried, the whole crew here today. Come visit your Oklahoma Chevy team dealers during this football season. Register for the OSU Ultimate Fan Experience. Four game tickets, four hospitality tickets, a football autograph, Mike Gundy, and more. See your Oklahoma, Oklahoma Chevy team dealer for more details. Redden's kick goes five yards deep in the end zone. They bring it out. Right side and tackled. Hardy tackled at the nine-yard line. He made an aggressive play, and Grant Jones made him pay. He tried to take it out from five yards deep in the end zone, running on the right side, and the pride of Pawnee said, 
Bella has a bad choice. First and 10 coming up for Nebraska from its own 10. You're right back in this situation where you've been in the last several weeks. You did it at Kansas. Levine with the interception to get a stop when you had a 10-point lead. Now's the time for your defense to continue to step up, but this is when you have to prove that you can make the plays when it counts, and they got a new defensive line in, Dave. Nebraska first and 10. They spotted it to Husker 10. Taylor under center, hands it off on a draw play to Jackson. Big hole straight ahead to the 15, 20, 25 to the 30, and tackled all the way up at the Cowboy 31-yard line. Jeremy Nathan made the tackle for Oklahoma State, but it's a big gain of 21 yards for Nebraska and a first and 10 for the Huskers. Big hole right up the middle. Grant Jones was stepping up into the area, and I think he slipped a little bit, Dave, and that helped uh, give him more ground. Now Taylor in the shotgun. Two receivers to each side, one back set, first and 10 from the Husker, 31. Taylor gets a snap, sets up, throw near side, and it's incomplete. Well wide of the intended receiver, Terrence Nunn, at the Nebraska, 39. Second and 10 coming up, 7-10 left in the fourth. Oklahoma State leads number 20, Nebraska, 34-23. to Nice catch over the sideline by linebacker Jeremy Nathan. Unfortunately for the Cowboys, he was on the sidelines and not in on that play. Second and 10, Nebraska from its own 31. Taylor under center, one back set, gets a snap. Here comes a blitz. Taylor throws over the middle. It's incomplete. Broken up at the 35-yard line. A perfectly timed hit by Donovan Woods on the intended receiver, Terrence Nunn. Up at the 35. It'll be third and 10 coming up for Nebraska from its own 31. Boy, it's all about timing. And Donovan with a great play here. And you have him in third and long again, Dave. Again, Nebraska had 262 yards, I believe, of offense in the first half. 268. Right now, they're just barely over 100 in the second half. This is a huge third and 10 for Nebraska from its own 31. Huskers 4 of 11 on third downs. Taylor gets a shotgun snap. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. Throws over the middle. The pass is caught for a first down up at the Nebraska 46-yard line. Todd Peterson, the sophomore out of Grand Island, Nebraska, made the catch in traffic, and Taylor made a good throw just before he was hit. 15 yards on the play and a first down for the Huskers. And it's Victor DeGreat who was just inches away again. Well, he's made so many plays, and he's been an inch away from making about twice as many this season. First and 10, Nebraska from its own 46. Taylor in the shotgun. One back set. Gets the snap. Five-man rush. Taylor being pressured. Hit once. Gets free. And now he's sacked. He is sacked back at the 33-yard line for a loss of 13 yards. Nathan Peterson, the junior out of Tulsa, tackled the Husker quarterback for negative 13. You know, Dave, I didn't see him bring any pressure there. It's just the defensive front four doing their job. Five-man rush now. They brought one guy. One guy. And they're beating him five on five. Now it's second down and long. Second and 23, Nebraska from its own 33-yard line. Taylor gets a snap, sets up a middle screen, and it's incomplete. I think it was Larry Brown who did a great job holding up the intended receiver, Brandon Jackson, who is trying to come out of the backfield, and I think it was Brown who sniffed it out and forced the play to be all fouled up. It'll be third and long for the Huskers. Well, you're exactly right. It's a screen that's worked really well for the Cornhuskers this game, but Larry Brown did just kind of bump Jackson as he came out of the backfield, and he was still standing there, too. Jackson was nowhere near that ball. That's a legal play, too, folks. Third and 23, Nebraska from its own 33. Cowboys lead the Huskers 34 to 23 with 557 left in the fourth in Stillwater. Crowd on its feet as Taylor takes a shotgun snap. Blitz is coming. Taylor scrambling, trying to run. Floats it toward the right sideline. It's incomplete. Overthrown. Intended for Maurice Purify. And Taylor was under duress. And the defense holds. Marquis Fountain gets in to hit Taylor just as he lets it go, and Purify was open. But unlike Stephen McGee, who could make that play perhaps a little more athletic than Zach Taylor, this one way over Purify's head. And Taylor, after going 9 of 10 in the first half, 
is just four out of 16 throwing it in the second half. Kitchener in to punt it on fourth and long. High snap, Kitchener steps into it. Wobbly spiral kick fielded by Parrish Cox at the 21. To his left at the 25, leaps over a tackler at the 27, but is brought down right there. A 46-yard punt and a five-yard return. 41-yard punt, excuse me. And with 541 left in the fourth, the Cowboys have the football back with a 34-23 lead over Nebraska. Wheelers is a proud sponsor of Oklahoma State football. Wheelers hot dogs and sausages, a great compliment for a bun. This city is known to provide some of America's finest hunting grounds. Known for the best quail hunting in the U.S. It offers upland game hunting for squirrel, rabbit, and raccoon, as well as two open seasons for outstanding turkey hunting. Duck, goose, and dove hunters won't be disappointed either. Where do hunters go? Altus, Cheyenne, or Lot? Where can you find a cubby? It's Altus in southwest Oklahoma. That's your Oklahoma tourism destination of the game. I'll tell you this. Nebraska's found a covey of Cowboy defenders about every direction they've turned here in the second half. After the Huskers scored 23 first half points, they've been shut out in the second half and held to, I believe, under 100 yards of total offense. We'll do the math and let you know on that. If not, actually 112 yards 112. of total offense in the second half after they posted 268 in the first half. Well, if you're the Cowboy offense now, remember what Mike Gundy said as he went into the halftime locker room. We're going to stay aggressive and get out and play. Now, you want to be aggressively smart. You know, you don't want to go in a shell, in effect, a prevent offense, if you will. You have to run some time off the clock, but you cannot think about not scoring any more points. You score another touchdown. I mean, be smart. If you're Bobby Reed, you know, send him out of that run pass option. Roll him out. You've been able to run the football. Good grief. 249 yards. David, we hadn't brought this up, I don't think. Nebraska's played USC. Nebraska's played Texas. Teams that pride themselves on being able to run. Cowboys have more than 60 yards more than the highest total Nebraska's given up all year. Good grief. Let's go down to Robert Allen. Robert? You know, this is something that's just totally off the wall and off the subject, but it might relax everybody in a tense moment because it's getting tense. There's a guy on the front row down here with the, horn, uh, the thick glasses, everything. It's a dead ringer for Harry Carey. That's a heck of a story on this day. Uh, holy cow, Robert. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 27. Reed fakes a handoff, drops back, sets up, throw far side. The pass is caught by Adarius Bowman to the 45 and all the way up to midfield. A gain of 23 yards and an Oklahoma State first down is Courtney Grigsby. The corner was beaten on the play. And I think he's down on the uh, Nebraska sideline hurt as he made that tackle. But again, you're talking about being aggressive, but aggressively smart. You had only Grigsby out there trying to cover Bowman. It's a mismatch. They're attending to the injured player, so we'll remind you that you can score big savings when you switch your auto insurance to Mercury. OSU fans report saving an average of $290 a year when they made the switch to Mercury, and you can too. Give them a call today at 877-4MERCURY for a fast free quote, and you could join the thousands of Cowboy fans all over the state who have already made the switch. Oklahoma's pork producers and the Oklahoma Pork Council are proud supporters of Cowboy football, and they want to remind you that when you need a meal in a hurry, think about the other white meat. From tenderloin to roast, preparing pork is simple. Go to okpork.org for quick, healthy meal ideas. It was a 16-0 Nebraska lead with just under 11 minutes left to play in the second quarter. Defense could not stop the Huskers. That's the Oklahoma State defense. Then the Cowboy offense, after committing two turnovers in Nebraska territory in that first quarter and a half, came back in a big way. Then the defense in the second half has just stepped up big. Oklahoma State, first and 10 from its own 49, leading 34-23 with 5.25 left in the game. Reed under center, Nebraska shows blitz. Reed hands it off to Savage, running on the right side to midfield, and he pushes the ball down to the Nebraska 48, a gain of three, and that takes Savage over the 100-yard mark for the afternoon. Defensive end Jay Moore made the tackle. 14 carries for 102 yards for Dantrell Savage today. 
and hard running off that right side. And, of course, that makes the clock move. We're going to be under five minutes here in a moment here. Second and seven, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 48. Reed now in the shotgun. Cowboys taking their time. The clock is on their side as OSU leads by 11. Now Reed comes back up to the line under center on second and seven. He hands it off to Savage. Big hole straight ahead to the 40, to the 35, and tackled right at the 35-yard line. Stuart Bradley, the linebacker, made the tackle. Big gain on the play again for Dantrell Savage. David, the Cowboys have a first and ten. Pardon me, Dave, but David Koenig made a great block as he moved right, kind of pulled to the right, and that helped create that big hole on the left side. First and ten, Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 35. That was a 13-yard gain for Savage. 420 left in the game. Reed under center. Gets a snap. Hands it off to Savage. Running on the left side. Splits defenders. Breaks one tackle and got maybe a yard up to the 34. It'll be second and nine. And we have a timeout. Nebraska. Huskers will have one timeout left with 401 left in the game. Be sure and join us for Cowboy Sports Talk on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock Central. That's Cowboy Sports Talk with head coach Mike Gundy, Tuesday night at 7 on most of these same Cowboy Radio Network stations. This season, Mercury Insurance is giving away free limited edition player posters at every home game. This week's poster features Art W. McCorder. Stop by one of the Mercury Insurance booths inside the stadium to get your poster. And when you're there, be sure to register for the Mercury Insurance Hunt for a Truck Contest. You can walk away from today's game with a brand new crew cap pickup. And even if you don't win the truck, you can still win by switching your auto insurance to Mercury. Call 877-4-MERCURY to get a fast free quote. And you may end up saving enough to buy Cowboys season tickets. Call Mercury today, 877-4-MERCURY. Find out how much you can save. We've mentioned the ability of OSU to rush the football. 40 carries now for 266 yards. Let's not forget Bobby Reed, who's also run for 61 on eight carries. But he is 13 for 20 with one interception. Of the ones that have not been completed, of course, there's one, one interception there on the tip ball. Three others batted by the defensive line for Nebraska. One was a throwaway. It was a smart play on Bobby's party through it in the stands, and one was dropped by Parks. Yeah, and the interception was a ball that probably should have been caught by Darius Bowman. Went off his hands and deflected off of his hands into the awaiting arms of Tierre Green, the Nebraska safety. After the timeout by Nebraska, second and nine Oklahoma State from the Nebraska 34. High formation. Dantrell Savage to tailback. John Johnson to fullback as Reed gets a snap. Drops back. Pumps. Throws it deep down the right side for DeJuan Woods. And it's incomplete. At the nine-yard line of Nebraska, DeJuan Woods had a step on Courtney Grigsby. Reed and Woods hooked up on a long pass and a earlier in this fourth quarter that set up the Cowboys go-ahead score, but that's incomplete. It'll be third and nine from the Nebraska 34. But also on that play, Bobby throws it to the outside, basically, across the field, but to the outside, where the only person that's going to be able to make that catch is Dewan Woods. Cowboys are six out of ten on third downs. This is a third and nine from the Nebraska 34 with exactly four minutes left in the game. Cowboys up 34-23. Reed gets a shotgun snap. Hands it off to Savage on the zone read, and he's surrounded and tackled for about a one-yard gain at the Husker 33-yard line. So it'll be fourth and eight for Oklahoma State. Let's see what Mike Gundy chooses to do here. It would be a very long field goal attempt for Jason Ricks. Ricks has converted a 53-yard field goal this year. That's the sixth longest field goal in 1A football this season. This would be about a 52-yarder if he chose to do that. We see no indication that he's thinking along those lines. Of course, you could go for it here. If you try to punt it, it's a very short pooch punt. If you go for it on fourth down and you don't get it, you give Nebraska maybe 13 yards of field position. That is, if you're assuming that your punt would go into the end zone for a touchback. So we'll see. 
Well, whatever happens, the next time Nebraska has the ball, they won't have any timeouts left, and they'll be in their hurry-up offense, which changes the complexion of the game, too, and just puts even more emphasis on your back seven really being able to make a play. Your defensive line is just such an outstanding job this afternoon, but your linebackers and your defensive backs are really going to be under pressure when Nebraska gets the ball back. Well, and if you go for it and you get it, John, the game's about over because Nebraska has no timeouts left. That's true. 3.52 left in the game, and Oklahoma State leading Nebraska 34-23. to Nebraska, in case you missed this adventurous afternoon, was up 16-0 early in the second. Cowboy offense had a couple of turnovers in Nebraska territory at about the Husker 40. And then... Once they got rid of the turnover problems, they've been able to move the ball consistently and successfully against the Nebraska defense. Well, we'll see what the Cowboys choose to do here. They have the offense on the field. Reed in the shotgun with Savage to his right. Three receivers to the right side, one to the left. On fourth and eight from the Nebraska 33. Nebraska shows the blitz. Reed calling the play. Now Nebraska backs away. Reed looks to the sideline to get the audible. On fourth and eight, Reed barking out the signals, they're maybe trying punt. to draw them offside. Yeah, they're going to punt. Play clock down to two, down to one. Flag comes down, it'll be delay of game against Oklahoma State. Well, that was an option we didn't cover. Certainly was one that was available to them. Well, make sure you get the good snap and pin them in deep. You know, you, your defense has come up big all afternoon. How many other things does Nebraska have that they haven't shown already. That's the other thing you look at. For all of the formations and everything they try to throw at you offensively, you've done a great job as a Cowboys defense of stopping them here in the second half. So if they have anything else in their bag, you figure they're going to show it now. That's a great point, partner. Fodge into punt it, angling it toward the right side. Line drive, knuckleball. Fair catch called for and taken by Nate Swift at the 12-yard line. And he's wishing he hadn't fair caught it. He should have let it go. Well, yeah, that or he had some room if he decided to catch it. The well, two yeah. gunners were down there for OSU, and they'd run past the play. You know what? You're right. Time to make a play once again. You've done it all second half. 3.47 left in the fourth. Oklahoma State leads Nebraska 34-23. Nebraska has no timeouts left. Taylor in the shotgun, three wide receivers. Taylor gets a snap, blitz coming, has time, now pocket collapses and he has to throw it away. We may have intentional grounding. No flag. No flag down. And there is he was, no way, pardon me Dave, there is no way that that receiver. That could be a safety, John. It should be. There it, it is. Goes, the flag goes down. Now was he in the end zone when he intentionally grounded it? We'll have to see. The flag went down at the one-yard line. I bet they review this just to make sure. Yeah, they're gonna get it. we're gonna get the replay right here. No, he was he was at about the one or two-yard line. So that's like a sack, folks. As it's a loss of down foul, it's a loss of 12 yards as well. It'll be second down and 20 for Nebraska. Let's make sure we give credit to Ryan McBean. He got in there and knocked him down. Second and 20. Actually, second and 21 for Nebraska from its own one. Taylor in the shotgun, working out of the shadows. Here comes a blitz. Back to pass. Throws it deep down the far side, and the pass is incomplete. A flag comes down at the 35-yard line. Maurice Purify was being covered by Martel Van Zant. The good news is this is not the National Football League. It's not a spot of foul penalty. It will be a 15-yard penalty against the Cowboys if it is indeed against Oklahoma State. Well, Van Zant is running along with him, and Donovan Woods is the only safety back there because they brought Levine and a couple of others on the blitz, and you know, Purify could not get back in there. If they called Van Zant for anything, it might have been with his left forearm keeping Purify from making a move on the ball. So an automatic first down for Nebraska, but they're still backed up at their own 16-yard line. It's first and 10. 
Taylor in the shotgun. Lucky in a one-back set to his left as Taylor gets a snap. Here comes a blitz. He throws it deep over the middle, and it's incomplete. Matt Harrion made a fine leaping attempt to catch the high throw at the 31, but it falls incomplete. Second and 10 coming up with 327 left in the game. Cowboys lead Nebraska 34-23. And, of course, the clock creeps along. Incomplete pass, stopping things. Harrion was open. Roderick Johnson in the area. Andre Sexton coming up to try and defend it. Taylor, after that incompletion, John, in the second half, is 4 out of 17 after going 9 of 10 in the first half. Second and 10, Nebraska from its own 16. Now Taylor under center. One back set. Quick drop, quick throw over the middle. The pass is broken up. Incomplete at the 25-yard line intended for Maurice Purify. And Martel Van Zant made a hit on him when the ball arrived. It'll be third and 10 for Nebraska. Well, Taylor had him. If he locks this up, it's decent yardage, but he's not going to go anywhere because Van Zant is all over his legs and then pokes it out. It hit it off his knee, too. The ball may have been just a little bit low, partner. I think you're right. Nebraska, one out of its last ten on third downs. Third and ten Huskers from their own 16. Blitz coming. Taylor under pressure. Bubbles a football. Nathan Peterson recovers it. Running down the left sideline. And he takes it into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown. Nathan Peterson. Dave, the defense just made a play. All that pressure. I think it might have been Patrick Levine, the linebacker, who stripped the ball. It kind of poked it away from Taylor, who was not guarding it very well. It has been a nightmarish second half for Zach Taylor, the native of Norman, and the entire Nebraska offense. They have been shut down by this young Cowboy defense. Rick's on for the point after. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. Folks, it was 16-0 Nebraska early in the second. With 3-16 left in the fourth, it's Oklahoma State 41, Nebraska 23. Straight points for the Cowboys. People wondered about this team's resolve after what happened last week to fall behind 16-0 and then just come blasting back. You have two things at work here, Dave, and one of them is... We've talked about this from the preseason all through this season. Your senior leadership, your veteran defensive line. So when you look at that, you know that's the core group that's not going to let these young guys get too far down defensively, even though you have had bad things happen to you in two out of the last three games, late in the game, when you should have had victories. The other thing, as we talked about in the pregame show today, resiliency. I mean, a lot of these youngsters, everyone on this team, I believe, can see, hey, we're this close. We're this close. All it takes is one or two plays, and they've come up with them today. The Nebraska offense has been outscored by the Cowboy defense in the second half. Seven points for the Cowboy defense, no points for the Nebraska offense. What a contrast that is. Redden kicks it off. Boy, he ripped this one, too. A deep, deep end-over-end kick. Six yards deep in the end zone, and Nebraska has no choice. As France Hardy takes a knee and accepts a touchback, and the Huskers will begin first and 10 from their own 20. And a lot of the red-clad Nebraska fans who made the journey to Stillwater have their heads hung as they depart the stadium here in Stillwater. 41-23, Oklahoma State leads number 20, Nebraska. How appropriate it is that Nathan Peterson, who's had to battle back from a very severe knee injury, would scoop up the fumble and take it to the end zone for six points. 
Taylor in the shotgun, first and ten. Here comes the blitz. He throws far side. The pass is broken up, incomplete. At the 30-yard line, Martel Van Zant in coverage. And Second and ten coming up. And he was close. He was close to picking it off and taking it the other way. He read that route perfectly. Zach Taylor is one out of his last 11. He was nine of ten in the first half, John. It's the pressure. It's and it's the pressure, and it's come in different forms. It's come from just your front four. It's come with bringing a linebacker. It's come with a safety. It's come with a corner blitz. Taylor under center hands it off on second and ten to Jackson, running off right tackle. Nebraska has no timeouts left, and he gains six yards up to the Husker 26. 248, 247, 246. That's the time left in the fourth, with Oklahoma State leading Nebraska 41 to 23. Well, you want them to run the ball if you're Oklahoma State. That just burned about 30 seconds. Third and four, Nebraska from its own 26. Taylor under center gets the snap, throws quickly over the middle. The pass is caught for 10 yards up to the Nebraska 36 by Terrence Nunn, the junior out of Houston. That's his third catch of the afternoon. First down, Nebraska. Taylor now on the shotgun. First and 10 Huskers from their own 36. Cowboys blitz again. Taylor under pressure, throws over the middle, passes caught to the 45 and all the way up to midfield. France Hardy made the catch. Gain of 14 and a Nebraska first down. 206 left to play. Well, you're being aggressive, bringing Levine on the blitz a little bit, but you're still, it's smart. You also had uh, that Donovan Wood sneaking in there. Yes. The safety blitz as well. So you bring some pressure, but the rest of them just don't get beat deep. Taylor in the shotgun. Cowboys show the blitz again. They rush five. Taylor gets the snap, throws quickly over the middle, passes caught at the 45 and up to the 42-yard line. Nate Swift made the catch, two yards shy of the first down. Nebraska out of timeouts, a minute 40, a minute 39 left in the game. It'll be second and two. Martel Van Zant with a heck of a hit on the Husker wide receiver. And kept him in bounds. Yes. Taylor under center, one back set, second and two. Taylor gets a snap, quick throw near side. It's incomplete, intended for Harry in the tight end. Martel Van Zant almost jumped in front of it to intercept it. Incomplete pass, third and two coming up for Nebraska. And Darnell Smith put Taylor on his back right after he let it go in predictable passing situations john i'm gonna be real honest they have a heck of a time protecting zach taylor and that's been an issue the last three weeks from what i can gauge third and two nebraska from the cowboy 42 taylor in the shotgun gets the snap four man rush sets up scrambling to his right floats it over the middle man open it's caught by the tailback out of the backfield brandon jackson he gets the first down down to the Oklahoma State 34, a gain of eight. Minute 17 left. Cowboys lead Nebraska 41 to 23. And Taylor, while they set the ball, he came out of his shoe. So he's having to burn a few more seconds getting up to the huddle and let everyone know what's up. First and 10, Nebraska from the Cowboy 34. Taylor in the shotgun, signaling the play to the wide receiver. Gets a shotgun snap, four-man rush. Throws short over the middle, caught by Jackson out of the backfield to the 25. Has a first down all the way down to the Cowboy 22, a gain of 12. Patrick Levine, the linebacker, with the tackle. First down, Nebraska, 56 seconds left in the game. Well, you managed to make them burn more than two minutes off of this clock here since your last defensive stop. You keep them out of the end zone for pride purposes if you're the defense, but you're under a minute, under 50 seconds now. Taylor gets a snap on first and 10, back to pass, throws short pass. Caught by Jackson to the 20. Still on his feet to the 18, but knocked down at the 17. A gain of five. 36, 35, 34 seconds There's left. There's just not enough time for them. I mean, he's going to have to spike it. He's going to have to spike the ball just to kill it to give him any more time. This game's over. Taylor gets the snap. Drops back, sets up, throws over the middle. Man open. Caught at the 10. Inside the 10 to the 5. And Todd Peterson all the way down to the Cowboy five-yard line with 17 seconds left. Cowboys lead 41-23. See if the Cowboys can keep him out of the end zone. First and goal. Taylor gets a snap, sets up, floats it toward the end zone. The pass is caught, but out of bounds. Incomplete. Caught by Prince Hardy in the left corner of the end zone, but incomplete. He was out of bounds. 
Second and goal coming up for Nebraska from the Cowboy 5 with 12 seconds left. The game has been decided. It's 41-23 Oklahoma State, but the defense trying to preserve a shutout of Nebraska in the second half. Well, what a great effort by the Cowboy defense in this second half. Absolutely outstanding. Taylor in the shotgun, second and goal from the five, and the crowd trying to encourage the defense's performance. He gets the snap, throws toward the far corner of the end zone, and the pass is caught. Touchdown, Nebraska. Maurice Purify, the 6'4 wide receiver, was able to post up on 6'1 Martel Van Zant and catch the football for a Nebraska score with seven seconds left. But the outcome has been decided, folks. There's no doubt about that. Cowboys 41, Nebraska 29 with seven seconds left. Well, Van Zandt will take a little heat for that, but it'll be good-natured ribbing. And nothing like what the Cowboys have had to endure when they've gone back and looked at film and after Pongen, last week. I'm sorry, John Pongen <laughs> just missed the extra point wide right. And there's some talk going on down there on the field a little bit between Nathan Peterson and one of the uh, Huskers here. Seven, uh, pardon me, it's uh, Andy Pulaski. But Peterson has the last word today. Let's pause 10 seconds for our stations to identify themselves on the Cowboy Radio Network. Five decades of commitment to OSU Sports, your flagship station for OSU Sports since 1947. KSPI, Stillwater. Seven seconds to play here in Stillwater. The Cowboys about to wrap up a 41-29 victory over Nebraska with a brilliant comeback from 16 points down. Dave, you mentioned earlier after Peterson scored that the OSU defense has outscored the Nebraska offense. I mean, if you add the extra point to the defense's total, they still have outscored them, 7-6. <laughs> Who would have thought after Nebraska scored 23 first-half points and gained 268 yards and averaged 10 yards per first down play, the Cowboy defense could reverse it. So onside kick coming. And it bounces over the top of Dewan Woods on the near sideline out of bounds. Dewan was ready to secure it. Bounced over his head out of bounds, and that should do it. What an impressive come from behind victory for Mike Gundy and his Oklahoma State Cowboys. In the last two wins for the Cowboys, Dave, total offense, 1,100 yards, 1,099 yards. You had 603, I believe, at Kansas. You have 496 today. And they rallied from 17-0 down at Kansas and 16-0 down here in Stillwater. It's over. And one of the youngest teams in college football has dethroned number 20 Nebraska. Now it's a free-for-all in the north. 